How you guys doing out there? Repart Killer 666 coming to you from Rad Ride to Heaven. I hope everybody's been doing okay. Been watching all the videos and all the new builds, especially the box stock that's going on. I wish I can get in that, but I don't build box stock. I can't. Uh, as soon as I open one of these boxes, the first thing I think of is how am I going to cut this car up and chop it up to pieces and what I'm going to add to it and what I'm not going to add to it. So definitely is not one of my strong things, but I've been watching all the videos and let me tell you they're awesome. I've been watching everything that everybody's about to get into also and it's very nice. I mean, awesome builds going on out there. I also want to let everybody know I've been watching all their videos. Uh been watching uh, Plastic 101, uh, Rambler 69. Uh, I've been watching all the guys. I, I can tell you all the videos that have been out there. I've been watching them. I've been watching what they've been doing. I'm very happy to see uh, a lot of the guys who weren't built in, built in again. Uh, Plastic 101, what can I say about that guy? Uh, what he don't build. All his sci-fi, all his... All his uh, TV show cars bring me back memories from when I was a kid. I used to watch all this stuff, go to the theater and watch all those sci-fi things he's been building. Uh, it's awesome. I mean, it's awesome watching all these guys out there building and all the stuff he's bringing back and all the cars that he's been doing uh, bring back a lot of memories. So thank you for that. Uh, let me get into my cars here, what I got going. A lot of crazy things, always like I have. Uh, cannot build nothing, like I tell you, right out the box or how it comes. Got to cut it up, but now I just got into a point in my, that I want to do every chassis custom different. I don't want no chassis to look like the next chassis. And uh, Let me not use the word custom. I don't like using that word unique. Uh, i rather use because it is one of its kind. I won't duplicate it. I try not to. I might copy a little piece off the other one, but very little. Uh, let me show you these cars here, what I got going on right now. Here's a vehicle that uh, I'll get as close as possible on it. Uh, what can I say about this car that it's just... I'm sorry about this guy. I'm trying to get this to focus better. And it looks like it's giving me a little bit of a hard time. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and try my best. Uh, chassis all done, complete every single piece was done on it, grill done on it, uh, that motor belongs to the Corvette, don't really care about the Corvette so I've been using all his parts everywhere, I built it once but never showed it, don't really care about that car, uh, this was a body, a resin body, uh, with the extended on it, I got it, I chopped it, I got pictures on Facebook of when I bought the bodies and I chopped the roof, brought it down uh, nice body gonna get a couple more especially the extended they are 34s uh, 34 pickup truck the one we get on the model kit is just the regular one this one is actually uh, extended in the back so I did have fun chopping it and having fun I uh, made a visor for it uh, made a back to the pickup completely uh, you probably can't see it too good here but we'll definitely get it once we get it done I'll show it it's all diamond cut the whole back of it and everything was diamond cut on it. I uh, definitely went into it and I'm going to expose that out. Once I painted the color, I'm going to paint it and the rust and the detail. I'm definitely going to make sure those lines show. Um, come out real nice, those lines. All the diamond cut drills are everywhere on this car. The back chassis on this car, what can I say? I mean, it's got everything back here in the back of the chassis. Completely crazy. Um, had a lot of fun doing this truck. Um, again, doing what I want to do as crazy as I can do them. Uh, don't worry about anything else, but just going and do what I want to do for now. I mean, I've been doing it as it is, and I'm gonna keep doing it. Like I always said, ride, ride. Heaven rules. Uh, love ride rides. Uh, can't get enough of them. Uh, another truck over here. Another resin body that I bought. This already came chopped down and lowered. I just had to do a little bit more work on it and here and there. Put some slicks on it. I believe you guys seen a truck out there. It's a Chevy truck, I think. I'm not too sure if it's Chevy or Ford. It has four bottles of nitrous. I think it has six bottles of nitrous in the back. 
I'm put four. I'm gonna do wild connection, wild motor, two carburetors. It's gonna be off the roof. The carburetors and everything that are coming on here. Uh, it's gonna be rad with hot, like I always say. Um, but definitely crazy. Again, another crazy chassis built, done by me. Um, here's another one. This is the car Rambler '69, and me did a little trade. I was going a different route with it, but something hit me overnight. This is going to be crazy. The chassis on this is just, it's going to be outrageous. It's going to have much more than this. This is nothing compared to what the car is going to have. The front connection I still haven't done. That's his gas tank that's going to go in the back with a rumble seat that I'm going to make. I'm going to make the chairs for it, the firewall. I got a crazy motor with about six Webers on it. Headers, I mean, it's going to be crazy when you see it again. Uh, definitely, definitely crazy. Way off the walls when you see it again. I uh, got a lot of more work to do on it. Just taking my time, making sure that I do what I want to do with them. Um, I'm going to keep the slicks and the and the steel wheels, but definitely going to paint them in and do a little work on it. Here's another car that I've been working on. This is another crazy... The chassis on this car is, I mean, the motor's up in the air. It's going to have crazy headers sticking out through the side. I haven't done the front connection yet because I'm working on the pieces, cutting them out. It always takes time. Everything cutting out. Got to do measure, make doubles, and it just takes time to do all this. You're not going to do it overnight. You're not going to start cutting and doing overnight and, and thinking, okay, this is it. Uh, gas tank sticking out the back. I'll let you know about these little tips in a minute. These are things that I did on my other vehicle and... A lot of people are trying to guess what they were. Uh, I'll let you know about that in a second. Uh, the wheels on it. Don't know if those are the front wheels that are going to stay on it, which there probably won't be. Um, just mocking it up with that will be good enough. The inside chassis of this car. Next time I'll have it, the motor out. The connections to the chassis. The floor was made for it already. Well, it's, it's made in cardboard. I do everything in cardboard like I told you guys before. This is what I do. I make everything in cardboard before I make it in styrene. Styrene is expensive, so you don't just want to cut it up and then keep cutting, cutting, cutting. When you have a piece you got to throw away, I try to use every single little piece because I, as you can see, I mess with styrene a lot. I mean, a lot. I have a lot of it, though, but you don't want to just throw it away either. So this is part of what I've been working on, part of cars that I've been doing. I've been doing other ones. i got a crazy crazy i mean if you see me on facebook you already know fire truck coming up uh i got another woody that's gonna you're gonna look at that and say what the hell is he doing now uh i got that woody coming out i got another chevy pickup truck it went a different route again i was going one way with it now when you see it it went completely a different route awesome built uh i got a few other cars that i gotta show you guys I got them on the wraps until I get them to this stage where they're pretty mocked up. This I should have waited because I wanted to do the front end, but I will show it again. Just want to let you know, guys, that I'm watching your video. I'm out here. I'm watching everything you guys are doing. Uh, constantly watching videos and enjoying them. Sorry I haven't comment. Um, reasons because I've been busy or whatever or haven't been there. I watched the video and I can't comment right away. Because what I really want to say is more than what I could. I'm not in the area where I can talk much. So, But I do watch the videos, put on a set of headphones, and I can hear everything you guys say. So um, I'll be here. I'll be doing another video showing you guys the rest of the other cars that I really want you to watch for that fire truck that's coming out. It's crazy. It's just a crazy, sick fire truck. Um, again, be watching. Now this here, people were guessing that it was oil fitting. That it was a fitting from a spark plug piece. It was a, a grease thing. It's neither. It doesn't have no hole going through it at all. It's either. It's actually an electronic piece. If you guys deal with Xbox 360, the old ones that used to heat up. So they had a system where you take these out, replace them with screws and everything, and take these out. This is inside an Xbox 360. Look for it. Look if you want to check it out. Look for the red light. And once the red light, you see that. The problem with the red light on the Xbox 360, you'll see these, how they take them out. But that's where they come from, electronic. They don't have nothing to do with cars. But anyway, thank you, everything, for the video. The other video, everybody trying to guess. 
Thank you very much for everything. Thank you for your support and everything. I'm sorry I haven't been doing a lot of videos, but I'm going to try to take care of that and make as much videos and show you where I'm at with my other stuff. The other three cars that I mocked up a while about, there's process on them, but they're not completely finished when they are. I will make the video and show them to you. Anyway, this is Repart Killer 666 coming to you from Rad Rod Heaven. You guys take care. Be safe out there. Like I always say, Rad Rod's rule. Take care.